Hello again. We're doing another F099. And actually, I'm a little bit late to this one. Oh. Before we start. Sorry. Gotta do this. Very important. Account for the odd and unremappable controls in the game. I find them a little odd. I don't love them. Hello, Jack. It's disappointing that I can't do it in uh, this game or in uh, Breath of the Wild, because there are some things that I'd like to change in that. I could change them in the Switch, like I just did, but then you still have the displays in-game, and it's very confusing. Anyway, F-099. So, I did the first impression stream with me and Jack. I came back and I did a stream of the Night League while that was going on because I wanted to uh, show off the tracks and I wanted to do all the time trials. And I want to do that for each of these leagues as they happen. It actually switched over to the Queen's League a couple days after I did that stream. So it's been on Queen League for a little while. Uh, we've got five new tracks, I believe. And uh, I've already played these off stream, so these aren't new to me. But I do want to I do want to show them off for posterity because obviously this game is going to be taken down in like six months. So oh, uh, what do I want to do in a GP? I th I, th I think the last time I did this, uh, I don't remember what I was. I've either done a GP and done well as a, as the Goose or the the Stingray. Thankfully, this game does have a little badges and things, so I've been working towards uh, goals as various machines. Hello, Darian. Uh, so we're now at, I think, 12 out of 15 tracks in the game. And we have uh, three remaining to come when it switches over to the King's League. I don't know when that will be, so I want to do this stream before we lost the Queen League. I like this one. I like this Mute City. This is uh, I, There are a lot of good tracks in the Queen League. This one's Mute City, but it has a donut. Obligatory question. Audio level sound okay? Game not uh, too, too quiet or anything? A little poop. I'm boosting a lot. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm in six. That's not bad, but uh, I blew most of my boost on the first lap to get there, and now I'm going to lose it because now I can't boost. Uh, you might be able to guess the uh, the Skyway goes straight over the center of the donut, so you, you save a lot of time using the Skyway there. Oh, hello. I want you. Yes, KO. I didn't get boost from that! I don't fully understand when you get boost from the bumper cars and when you don't. Odd time to use that, but I'll take it. I guess because they're bumper cars, they give less boost is how it works. I swear it differs how much I get from them, though. Maybe it depends on what place I'm in when I get the KO. Maybe I didn't get much because I was in a uh, high position when it happened.
Yes. Uh, not amazing, but it'll do. What was that, 37? Oh, top, uh, 30. <coughs> so last stream was actually the first time that I completed a Grand Prix. I finally got to the end of, uh, end of the night league on, uh, Silence. I have done it on this one. I have all the tracks for, uh, for time trials. I don't know how hard the time trials on these are yet. As expected, they've added, uh, they've added extra badges for uh, doing the time trials on the new tracks, new backgrounds and things. But there's still an achievement there for surviving or winning the Night League. So I'm wondering if that's just not gettable anymore, or if uh, eventually they're going to cycle the leagues around again. Which makes sense that they would, because, you know, it's content be weird if they only had, like, a thing in the game for three weeks, but... I'm curious if different vehicles get different amounts of boost, different amounts of thrust, let's say. Because the amount of boost they have, the amount of boost they use per boost is different between vehicles. We got, I think, uh, Port Town 2 in the Night League, which was one of the more difficult tracks. So uh, now we get the more slightly saner Port Town 1. It's still got the magnet parts, but not the, uh, not the sharp turns that come after. Yeah, a sharp turn, I suppose. Oh, accidental KO? I didn't even see that was smoking. Uh... I have been playing this less lately. So I don't fully know what the meta is sitting at right now. It started off with uh, people like the Wild Goose, which I do too. It's a very consistent vehicle. I like the Goose. But uh, quickly became, as is somewhat common knowledge, uh, Golden Fox. The strat came to be to just boost to the head immediately and uh, stay there with the max acceleration. Which seems fine in theory. I, I think it's still the strategy that like the top players are using to get in first consistently, but uh, the fact that everyone's doing it means that you just end up at the front with a bunch of other golden foxes beating the shit out of each other is how it goes. Thank you, Jack. Also, the Golden Fox is a, uh, it's a very slip-slidey vehicle. So I'm wondering if it will, uh, if this strategy will continue to work when we get to the, uh, more difficult tracks. And you have to make these, uh, these sharp turns all the time. Because we saw the last stream when I did Silence that a lot of the other racers kind of had trouble keeping up with the Stingray and its tight turning. I wonder if it's worth going through that gravel. I like this stage, Red Canyon. This is a good stage. This is a fun one. It's got these sharp turns, granted, but then it's got these jumps. I like the jumps. And this is Red Canyon 1, I think, so there should be a harder one of these on the way. 
would be one of the uh, last three tracks. Again, I haven't played F-Zero Super NES, so I actually don't know what the last three tracks in the game are. These will be a surprise for me. Probably should try make more of an effort not to go through the gravel on that part. That would probably be smart. I got some, uh, I got, I got some salty comment on the highlights from the first, uh, the first stream we did of this. And boy, it's a lot easier to tell when the thing is full when I am playing with audio, as I now am. We weren't for the first stream. I had no game audio. Oh, oh, this guy's aggressive. Oh, and I hit a bread that killed it. Oh, I was doing so well. Man. I was gonna get second, at least. I didn't beat the S9 guy. Still waiting to run into a player that I recognize. XDB Tierney. Cunderdog. Buck. Ben. That's such a huge difference from like S to S9. Like, if you play the game that much... I guess, they, I guess they have to start giving your rivals down in A-Class, because there's just not enough people in, like, Super S-Class or whatever it is to fill out a set of rivals. Decent start. Uh, this is White Land 1. This is a repeat. I think this was... This was in the White in the Night League, wasn't it? This was like the fourth track. It's a little weird that they have the White Land 1 and 2 back to back, but uh, they do for the Queen League. Yeah, we did uh, we did the time trial for this last stream. Oh, no! <laughs> I got the KO, but it set me bumping. Uh, I wanted to... I thought I had super boost full. I didn't. <laughs> no, I don't have normal boost. Uh-oh. It's okay. This is a good part to skip. Mm, yeah, get me up here. Three. Yeah, I got one more. Get out of here. It's my boost. Three red bumpers! Man, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna hit one of them. Why you gotta give me three red bumpers on a corner? And there I go. Oh, no! Okay, KO helped me a little bit. There we go. Apparently, and I haven't confirmed this, you can boost indefinitely, or you, you have infinite boosts when you're at uh, no health. So it's not like one and then you're done. You can continue boosting as much as you want to, but uh, you have, I mean, no health, so you obviously have, you have one hit. If you touch anything, you die. All right, number 10. White Land 2. 
This is the new one. This is that level, but... What's new on it? I think it has some extra, like, sharp turns or something. Oh, it has a jump. I remember that. This is one of those ones... So I'm guessing, based on silence and based on this, that uh, the fifth track in every league is going to not have the uh, 99 race for starting area. It's just going to be a, a, a clean start as if it were in the F-Zero game. Unless they maybe make versions that have those later. Oh, that's right, it's got these! It's weird Lego... I don't know why I say Lego, these, these harsh turnpikes. Along with that jump. It's very dangerous. <laughs> I want to see this level with 99 people on it. I think it would be a glorious shit show. It's easy to want to boost out of that turn, but then you end up going too fast for these turns. Boy, do these turns suck. Boy, are these worse than silence. I don't like those. Get out of here. One more. Yes! No, not enough? Okay, where do I want to use this? What would be a good spot? The turns, they're right here. Alright, perfect. Yeah, just skip all that. Mmm, get me up there. It's really easy to die because that jump is right after a turn. I did the thing. Okay, that's fine. I bumped a little bit. Okay, maybe it's not fine. Can you, like, push through the walls? Is that what people are doing there? I just saw that. Alright, lap four. I got some boost to spare. What I place? Nine? I beat everyone but the meta. That went quickly, that was only 15 minutes. Oh, the meta won. No wonder I didn't beat him. Alright, ninth place. Top 10. I'll take it. Leaderboard resets in 10 minutes. Alright, got the Queen League Blue Falcon. What haven't I gotten? I'll take a quick look before I continue. Uh, finished first place in a Grand Prix. I haven't finished first place in anything, I think, except for the, uh... Except for the last stream, I got it in the Stingray, I believe. But that was the end of a league, so it wasn't a 99-player race. It was 20 players. Uh, decals. So I need to do Queen's League as Golden Fox. Wild Goose. Yeah, Golden Fox and Wild Goose. I need like a notepad document of what I haven't done yet. Alright, let's see what the let's see what the pro tracks for this are. What counts as a pro track. They're not gonna include silence and they're not gonna include White Land 2. Unfortunately these pro these pro track races don't count as F099 races for some reason. So even if I got first in one of these, I don't think it would count for the, uh, for the badge. I don't know about that one, I guess. I checked before and after doing a pro track race, and it did not increase, like, the, like, race in five F-099 races. It didn't count towards that. Uh, Port Town 2 or White Land. 
Well, these are old ones. We have these since the Night League. I think, or was that Port Town 1 before? No, we started with 2. Those mines in the middle seem kind of pointless. There's not really an incentive to cross over to the other side of the very start. Stingray is good at getting that boost because it can corner so tight. For a second, I thought that I spun someone off. I don't think I did, though. And there goes all my boost as the Stingray. Stingray doesn't get much. Or rather, boosting with the Stingray eats up most of its boost. Oh, I didn't get that? Oh, I totally killed him. I want that. Yes, KO. Uh, the... What is the Wild Goose has boosts that don't take up a lot of its meter. However, it's not super relevant because it uh, it's very slow to refill its meter. So you end up not being able to boost all the time regardless. Golden Fox is the one that's known to be able to boost all the time because its boosts don't take up a huge amount of meter and it can it refills pretty much completely every time it hits the boost station. Oh, I'm smoking. You lose, uh... I've noticed that uh, when you're damaged, you don't go quite as fast. Your top speed is punished. Which makes sense. It's not a mechanic that a lot of games do. Even though it makes sense. In fact, Smash Brothers does the opposite. When you're at high damage, your attacks get stronger. Figure that out. Oh, that's the end. There are bonuses for getting so many uh, top 25 end uh, results, so... At least we're keeping to do that, at least. Uh... What else can we do? Let me check my goals with machines. See if there's anything uh, pressing. Finish in the top 25 of a mini pre. I would like to do that, but I don't know if uh, mini prix pop up. Today's Sunday, so uh, being a weekend, it's a uh, Grand Prix every 30 minutes. There's the top 25. Finish first place. I'm one away from Golden Fox, I'm just doing F099 with that. Yeah, let's do that. Then if, uh... If we get another GP roll around, I'll do one of those with the uh, fox or the wild goose. I wonder how many vehicles were added in, uh, in F-Zero-X. I know how many were in GX. That had a lot. That had like 80 different racers in it. Which is cool. Especially because the racers all had uh, their own whole theme songs and they had animation videos for each one of them. They weren't usually great theme songs or great animation videos. It was definitely quantity over quality, but it was cool that they existed.
But uh, it definitely... I guess it does feel kind of purer that there's only four racers in this because uh, they're all fundamentally very different from one another. Whereas in uh, F-Zero GX, because there's so many, they're much more similar. I got I got distracted by conversation. I I kind of fucked up the start of that race. But that's okay though. I'll, I'll get the golden balls. I'll catch up. We're we're still fine. Probably. If I don't die, we're fine. Yeah, give me your balls. I want to cross the donut. Oh, I should have gone earlier so I'd get the boost. Oh, well. Oh, we're in the same match you're playing, Darian? I wish... I wonder if it shows... I think it does show your, your Switch friends at the very least, so... Uh, maybe it'll show Darian at the end of this. Maybe not in the race specifically, but I can see, like, a friend leaderboard, so... Uh, I've just been sitting behind Elf King my entire F-Zero career. Which is a little depressing because he's never even played an F-Zero game before this. Some people are just really good at games. Alright, here we go. I missed the- Okay, that's fine. No, this was the one I wanted. What lap is this? This is lap four. All right, going for it. Let me see if I can find Darian. I'm kind of amazed I never got into a match with Elf, Elf King, because he played all the time, and we're in, like, the same region. There he is. Hey, good job, Darian. Oh, number one golden fox. At least I got that. That's actually kind of surprising. The top ten, none of the top ten were golden foxes. Is the meta finally dying? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a badge. Forget the top of your, uh, your machine. Maybe it's... I don't think it's a... No, it's a pilot card thing. It's a universal. Finish a race on all... Yep, 12 out of 15 courses so far. Reach the highest rank for your machine 20 times. Okay, so that was the sixth time that I've done that. Finish first in a mini pre. Still no double KO. Almost got 20 top 10 finishes. Getting to that. Uh, alright. Let's GP. I just played as Golden Fox, so I'll do the... I'll do the... I'll do the Goose. I like to vary. I like to show off the different vehicles. Oh! Oh, this is the Night League. I didn't realize that. They're already cycling it. Okay. Uh, hmm. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have done the... I wouldn't have done the Goose. Because I think... No, I did the... I did the Stingray last stream, didn't I? I don't remember. Anyway, I did not manage to get all of the vehicles to complete the night league, so this is good. I wanna I wanna be sure I get to the end of this, that I survive. Look at it, it just doesn't care. You know what? It is it is really nice, the wild goose, because it doesn't lose speed from bumping into things. 
which is important in this game because you're always going to be bumping into things. There's just not... You can't avoid that. Doesn't matter how good you are. Why well, you can avoid, like, walls, but... Functionally, there's no way that you're going to avoid 99 other racers constantly on the track, is what I'm saying. Which is why, again, it's cool this game exists. I'm glad we got it. I'm having fun with it. It's still more casual than a, a regular F-Zero would be because of that fact. Just the fact that there's so many racers means there's a lot more that is outside of your control as a player. So, it's still skill-based, but it is, a uh, it is less skill-based than traditional F-Zero games. I would like to boost here, but I'm too low on damage. I got, like, nothing out of that. Now everyone's gonna pass me, because I can't boost. It's a waste of spin. Not getting any KOs. Woe is me. Oh, I was so close to getting a full bar, too. Alright, 29th. Not top 25, but... I'm still in it. That's all I care about. I just gotta survive. F-Zero survive. Uh, Darian, how much have you been playing this? Is there uh, any of the vehicles that you're drawn to? I like to play them all for the stream, but mainly I do... Uh, I'm, I'm a Stingray guy. There's a delay. Which is this? This is, uh, this is Big Blue 1 or 2? Oh, it ate the wall. That's bad. Good start. How can I stay up here? Nope. There come the there come the sky racers. Be a good like uh, be a good eighties rock album name. Sky racers. Another thing this game would uh, benefit from is a rear-view camera. It'd be real nice to be able to tell specifically what's behind you, since all you get are... Uh, all you get are orange arrows. I'm hanging in there. I'm up here. I just need one of these guys to fuck up. I think a lot of people just put their controller down when they get Lucky Bumper or after they're out of a race because I notice a lot of Lucky Bumpers, those are the blue ones, just not really doing anything.
Maybe it's only on weekends that it alternates. Because uh, outside of weekends, the Grand Prix are only once every three hours. So it's probably, uh, during the week, it's probably all Queen League. You! If you can get a boost off of the racers behind you, it might be worth going through the gravel. Because that's kind of a big part of this game, is like, uh... You get a, w a way that people get ahead is by having people behind them ram into them or spin them. Which makes sense, but it's also kind of unpredictable, again, because of the lack of a rear view camera. It's, it's kind of hard to do it intentionally. Some of these F-Zero uh, music tracks are so much more mellow than the other ones. Like, this is this is practically lounge music compared to Big Blue. I'm hunting for these bumper KOs, and I'm not getting them. Uh, bumpers do count towards the uh, your KO count in a match, which is how I got the... Uh, badge for getting five KOs in one race. Waste of a spin. Hello, friends. We having fun up in top ten? I'm just here being a goose. I'm on a Roomba quest. Uh, hitting red cars. Yeah, hit those bumpers. Yeah, smoking. Red health. Can't boost anymore. Final lap. Enemy Roomba spotted. See, it tried to do the thing because it saw that it saw that I was an arrow behind him, and he tried to spin so that he would get knocked ahead. Unfortunately, it's really hard to determine any sort of timing when your only indicator is an arrow. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna make it to the end. Okay, here I go. Ah, did I get? I didn't get that KO. Crashed out on the third race. It's hard to stay alive consistently in these. It's definitely an acquired skill. I blew up constantly my first stream and my first, I don't know, several weeks playing this. Knowing that you go slower when your health bar is low definitely, uh, definitely incentivizes not boosting quite as much. Although, again, it is admittedly less satisfying because you could, uh, your boost refilled so much faster in F-Zero GX that you could actually, you know, do it more. That was that was bad. I hate I hate Deathwind. There's a Deathwind 2 now. It wasn't in the Queen League. It's in one of the uh Oh, where is it? It must be one of the Pro Tracks. There's now a Deathwind 2 in the rotation, and it sucks even more than this one does, because it's just this track, except with uh with a bunch of like silent style sharp turns at the end. And yet, I've noticed over time that whenever these tracks come up, this one specifically, this this track gets picked a lot by people. And uh, my theory as to that 
It's that it's because it's a it's the baby park equivalent. And because it's just a big straight line. Golden foxes like it. I think that's why it gets picked. I get no boost refill. I'm starving here. Uh-oh. Oh no. Am I out of the safe? The safe is 25. I'm gonna die. Get KOs. Go out. Yeah. Die. Cease to be. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I always death wind. Every time it's death wind. I couldn't get enough balls in time. Man, that hasn't happened in so long. Only ever on stream. That's because Deathwind fucking sucks. I think that's a sign. Yeah, I'd, uh, d I, I'm, I'm gonna make a maybe controversial statement. Queen League is easier than Night League. You get cold on Deathwind if you're not playing uh, Golden Fox or Blue Falcon. You need acceleration on that track, or you're just fucked. Anyway, let me try. Let me do some time trials. Let me let's check out these new tracks that we've got because we haven't seen all of them yet. We've seen most of them. Uh, oh, first let me uh, let me check what time I have to be. Take a break with some nice relaxing single player. Uh, Mute City Two and One Fifty. 140, 136, 202, and 156. Yeah, Deathwind 2. I don't want. I don't want to time trial Deathwind 2. All right, Mute City 150. Let's do it. Most of these were very easy, so maybe maybe these won't be too bad. Uh, Port Town I struggled with a lot. That was my hardest one. Whiteland. Silence was a little bit of, a little bit of struggle. It wasn't too bad. What uh, what vehicle? No, I don't want the goose. In every other game mode, you press you select the track and then you get to choose your vehicle. In this one, you have to have it selected on the on the screen. All right, Mute City 2. 150. This is a nice, mostly straight track, so I don't have too much to worry about. Except not hitting walls like I'm doing immediately. My main boost spots look like they're going to be that section, and uh, right after this turn at the end. Are where I want to save my boost for. It is nice that each vehicle fundamentally plays pretty differently. Uh, Stingray, because it's the max, it's the top max speed vehicle feels like it's really about not getting hit. More so than the other ones, anyway. Like, you don't really want to get hit at all, but... Whereas, uh, usually you want to actively go for KOs in online races. This one... Stingray's kind of the only one that benefits from avoiding other racers. I can still make that, I think. It was a little sloppy. I hit some walls, but that's not... Uh... Don't think that's going to kill it. Me being at uh, low health for most of this might have killed it, though. Oh, I made it. Okay, we're good. Put the game down mid-race and got booted from the race? 
Oh, I didn't know. Wow, they have anti-griefing in this game? I've never seen that. Darian says, I put the game down mid-race, I got booted from the race, and got a racing the opposite direction is not okay message. There should be a, there should be a badge for getting that message. Definitely want to encourage people to do that. I love how there's a badge for crashing out, because that just encourages you to do it. It's gonna happen anyway, realistically, but, uh, all right. Port Town 1, uh, 140 was this one. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. We're gonna get one of these levels that's gonna be, like, really difficult compared to the others. We've already done Port Town 2. It's pretty tricky, but... If we did that, we should be able to do this one without an issue. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done two boosts. Now I'm gonna be low for the rest of the race. It looks like there's only one really important boost spot. Not even that really. I'm I'm used to in Port Town 2, one of the spots you wanted to boost was this straightaway through the magnets. But it's not that, it's not that vital. In fact, I think it might be better to save it for after that turn on this version, if you have to pick between the two. Oh, uh-oh, bad. Awful. Didn't want to do that. That might have cost me it. Uh, gotta get one, sub 140. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm gonna do two boosts on this lap. I'm gonna be in the red for it. No, I didn't make sub 140. Man. That's okay. I'll try again. This one's not bad. I, I can do it. I just gotta not, uh, I, I gotta not grab the magnet wall and make out with it. Hello, me. Are you having a good day, ghost me? And there I go, boosting. I'm gonna try to, uh... That's alright. I'm gonna try to stay at higher health this attempt. Because that'll keep my, uh, that'll keep my max speed up. I don't think it's completely linear. I don't think your, your max speed is proportionate to your health bar. I think you only get punished once you're below a certain threshold and you, like, start smoking. Don't quote me on that, though, because I'm not positive. It's much easier by using the uh, the L and R slides rather than normal turning. They kind of they, they cancel out the magnets as long as you're aligned properly. Right, sub 140. It's going to be tight. I don't think it's the. I don't think this is it. Eight. 39! Oh! Almost. Always Port Town. Port Town's gotta give me trouble. There 
Here I am, kissing the wall. This is pretty tight for a, uh... For a queen course. I probably shouldn't have boosted twice on that lap. We'll see. I think I'm alright. I think I can still maintain a non-smoking speed. I think I also may lose speed going through the, uh, the magnets normally. So maybe that is the good time to boost. I noticed that uh, racing my other ghosts on Port Town too. Oh, I'm already at 130. Maybe this is it. Maybe this can do it. Okay, I'm gonna boost through the magnets. That's my boost spot. Let's see how far ahead I get of my ghost doing this. The other one boosted there. And didn't eat a wall. Slightly ahead. Would have been better if I hadn't eaten the wall. Taking turns tightly is... not as important as it would seem. That was bad. Not hitting the walls is important, though. I think that was it. I, I don't think I can get up again. It's so easy to do after that. Yeah, okay, this isn't happening. I honestly couldn't tell if boosting through the magnets was helping. And unfortunately, it introduces the risk of slamming into that wall immediately afterwards. So maybe that's not the strategy. If I can keep pace, I only need to shave off, like, 0.11 seconds. As long as I just, I just race a little bit tighter, I should be good. This was the only part of F-Zero GX I never, uh, never fully finished. I put in the hours, I finished the entire story mode on all the hardest difficulties, I did all of the characters' Grand Prix on the hardest difficulties. I was on my way to beating the Staff Ghosts. I just, that's why I dropped it last. It's so close. I 
I could try another vehicle that could, like, boost more, but... In theory, the Stingray should be best for time trials because of its, uh, its top speed and tight turning. Although this isn't a level that has a ton of importance on turning, other than that one turn right there. If I fail again, I'll, tr I'll try the Golden Fox, just for comparison's sake. two boosts on that lap in this particular ghost. Ah, the wall! Yeah. Alright, let's try the fox. much lower max speed, but the benefit of being able to boost more often. It's also very slip slidey, which is bad for these parts. I don't like that. That was awful. Oh no! I get an extra boost, and then I fill almost completely. Ah, two-thirds. Somehow I'm maintaining speed over my Stingray Ghost, though. I have to let go of the accelerator on these on these uh, corners, is what I don't like. Okay, yeah, I gotta get used to the Fox again, so I'm not uh, not eating those turns. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but uh, Port Town 2 had a cheese on it. Sort of, not really, such that you could uh, you could boost across to the other side of the track. However, it would still reset you, so it didn't actually really save any time. As long as I'm not eating these turns, these extra boosts do seem to tentatively be helping. Maybe the Golden Fox is ideal on uh, on tracks that you can get away with using it. I.e. not like not like silence. Sub 140 easy. Well, that went better. Maybe I'll have to be discerning on whether a, a track is a fox or a stingray track. Alright, Red Canyon was, I think, 156? Sorry, 136. 202, 156. Red Canyon's got sharp turns. I think I do want a Stingray for that. Oh, is there a Mini Pre? I could do a Mini Pre. Oh, we've seen all the tracks at this point, but... 
Uh, time remaining. What do I want to use in a mini pre? I don't think I've won a mini pre with any of the vehicles. Wasn't there one for like top 25 in a mini pre? Or am I misremembering? not. No, it's just finish first in a mini pre. That's the only mini pre related uh, thing. All right. Well, in that case, I guess I'll stingray. I like the stingray. I'll go back to the uh, I'll go back to the time trials after this. How do you play? Chain Sonic, Father B, Skarma, Rotato. Alright, this is where Deathwind 2 is hanging out. Mute City 2, Red Canyon, and uh, Deathwind 2 in the mini pricks. Oh, I'm using the I'm using the stingray. And we're gonna have a Deathwind course. Uh-oh. Well that's okay. The Deathwind 2 has like sharp turns on it, so maybe that will uh Maybe that'll be okay. It's just when it's nothing but a straightaway that everyone just steamrolls past the stingray. to boost through that. I'm going for the donut. Yeah. Get me through. Oh no, gravel! Made it in again. Oh, are we in the same race again? I wish there was a way to do that intentionally. I, I say this every single F-Zero stream. I want to party with friends. I want to, like, group up so we're all getting the same race together. I am boosting too much. I am spending too much of this time at low health. I am not being safe in this many pricks. Oh no, that was that was bad. Ate a wall. That saw some guy uh, ricocheting as well. This is his lap four. I wanted that KO. Alright, 56. That wasn't great. Maybe Darien beat me that time. crashed out. Crashed out or ranked out? Try the, uh, try the wild goose if you haven't. 
that's the easiest vehicle to survive with. This is pretty good overall. It's fun. It's fun to goose. start. Bad wall. That was a bad time to do that. I like the jumps. I didn't want to skip the jumps. We got a head anyway. That's a trap, that sharp turn. You usually want to boost right after sharp turns, but you can't after that one. wanted one of those KOs. Been using Golden Fox. Oh yeah, you die, you die immediately. Let's go Golden Fox is glass. I like Stingray, but it has the lowest uh, acceleration, so if you get bumped around a lot, it's really hard to succeed with that. I would say in terms of difficulty, from easiest to hardest, it probably goes Goose, Falcon, Stingray, Fox. I think Goose is the easiest and Fox is the hardest. Conky Dong! Alright, Death Wind 2. Moment of Truth. Does adding sharp turns to Death Wind nullify the effect? Is it, am I going to break the Deathwind curse this way? Oh, oh, bad start. Oh, that's really bad on Deathwind. I missed so many boosts. people from behind. Here's the turns. Oh, oh, I wasn't ready for the turns. That's so much more than Deathwind 1 has. Deathwind 1 is just a fucking ring. I hate the wind. I would love these I would like these tracks so much more if not for the the wind mechanic. And I know that's the point of them. I don't care. They suck. Uh, do I save this for the turns? I guess I should. I usually like to use these as soon as possible when I can. Because uh then you can start collecting orbs again and get another one in, potentially, is my reasoning.
but uh, it is it's hard to overstate how valuable it can be to skip uh, like sharp turn sections and things. Oh, oh, oh no! Silly me, here I thought the turns would give me an advantage. Nope, I'm eating shit. Yeah, KO! Alright, 16. Top 25 in a mini pricks. I know it's pretty. Just in case anyone thinks that I don't, if they've only watched the previous 5 minutes, 10 minutes. I don't, th I don't think there's, like, anything you can get for top 25 anyway. Only number one. I gotta win a mini pre. One day I will. At least I got level 30. That's nice. You know what? I'm gonna update those right now. What is the, uh, what does this new background look like? I uh, got Mute City 1, Mute City 2. Oh, yeah, the donut's in it. Town 1 also kind of looks nice. I like that one. Alright. Back to time trials. Let's knock these last few out. Uh, 136 for Red Canyon. Am I still the Stingray? I'm still the Stingray. Definitely want to boost after those sharp turns. That's really the only, like, important place to boost that I see on this track. In terms of, like, in terms of this, in terms of single player, not... Obviously, there's more opportunities in a uh, 99 race. I'll bet it's faster not to jump. Especially as the Stingray, because when you're on the ground, you're building up speed, so... I probably only want to take the first jump in that, in that area. Oh, that's bad. That wasn't good. Sub 136. Don't think this is it, but let's see. I can squeeze two or three boosts out of this lap. Yeah, 136 isn't happening. Sub 140. All right, let's see what we can optimize. I don't think I want to do Golden Fox on this sort of track, because this does have that sequence of really tight turns. I also don't think I can boost much more than I did, though. Gotta not eat those walls. Might be beneficial not to boost through the boost pad, so that I'm spend less time in it. The Goose is probably the worst one for time trials. I don't know that, but uh, I'm going to make that guess. Because you don't really benefit from the additional toughness in a game mode like this.
Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gaining any ground. All right. Let me see if I can hit walls less. Let's try that. if I can make that any tighter. That sequence of turns. Wall. I did, I did it again. I boosted through the thing that I shouldn't have. They're too far apart to, like, cruise between. I have a feeling I'm really gonna have to try to avoid the gravel there. Which, I'm making an effort to avoid the gravel, but, uh, I mean, even just that little patch that I keep going through. That was, yeah, that killed it. Is it worth avoiding the gravel on that first turn as well? Or is it faster to cut through it? There's another turn immediately after it, so... Not necessarily a big deal if I lose some speed there, because I'm gonna I'm gonna want to do that anyway. This spot. Ah, I hit one. Cutting out four seconds seems like a lot. But I think if I optimize I can do it. It'll it will just we'll gradually get there. If I'm not too busy making out with the walls. I get some extra boosts off of this lap. Boosting through that gravel is nice. Maybe it would be worth trying another vehicle just so that I could boost more. But I'm pretty limited with how many boosts I have in the Stingray is the problem. Is it sub-30? 136? Alright, well that's closer. That's still over two seconds away though. What else can I try? Let me, uh... I'm gonna try the Blue Falcon. Because I don't think I want the Fox as slip-slidey as it is on a level like that. A Falcon I might be able to manage, though. Falcon's still slip slidey. Honestly, every vehicle feels kind of slip slidey compared to the, uh. compared to the Stingray. Oh, look at those turns. Look at how much I'm. Ugh. It's like butter. Except in a bad way. It's not smooth like butter, it's slippery like butter. Red. It's alright, I'm still pretty significantly ahead of the Stingray. Having the extra, just like one extra boost per lap is pretty helpful. If 
fact, it looks like I have just enough for uh, two boosts per lap as the Blue Falcon, and then I get pretty much exactly that much back when I go over the boost pad. Okay, 137. This is doable, I can tighten that. I'm gonna try the Falcon again. Maybe I'll try the Fox. I'm just, I'm really worried that I'm just gonna eat these sharp turns. A little wall. That's not great. I've got more boost than that one does, does though. The, the attempt in front of me. Well, I don't think it matters because I don't spend enough time smoking for the top speed to really matter. Theory will help on this this short straightaway section. An extra boost. I don't know that this will be enough of a difference because I'm only barely ahead of my previous Falcon attempt right now. There I go. Nope. Alright, let me try Fox. I'm gonna do it. We're too close to not do it. If we were still like 20 seconds off, like Port Town 2, maybe I'd come back some other time, but... Oh, we're almost there. Why don't you boot why don't you boost before you hit the healing area so you're in it longer? Why don't I boost? You mean why I I don't want to boost before I go into the healing air area. Because if I boost through it, then I'm going through it uh too I'm going through it faster and I'm not spending as much time in it and thus not getting as much healing. I'm hitting a lot of walls with Fox. Oh, 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 it's so slip slidey. And I'm not even getting, I'm not getting significantly more boosts out of it than I was with Blue Falcon. That was kind of smooth. I wonder if I can replicate that with the Falcon. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe the fox has what it takes. Being able to... The slip slidiness act is actually a little bit advantageous in the air. Okay, I think I can get... I, I can actually get three boosts per lap with the fox, it looks like. And if you master the drift... 
you can even take those sharp turns. Okay. Yeah, I'll, g I'll give the fox a couple more attempts. That is too early a wall to hit. I'm not taking that. Yeah, having extra boosts in a time trial might just might just be more important than everything else. Which is a little disappointing because Golden Fox is already so over-centralizing in the 99 races. I didn't want it to succeed here. I'm spiteful. I just, I had to get used to the fox and slip slidiness, but uh, now that I am, we got this. We got, we got sub-136. Thankfully, you just have to get it as any vehicle. It's not like, uh, get it with this or that vehicle specifically. Although they could add different time trials per vehicle in the future if they wanted to. Red Canyon, unlocked. What's left? Whiteland 2 and Deathwind 2. Eh. Uh, Whiteland 2. This is a this is an ice level with really, really sharp turns. Uh, do I stick with the i I'm, I'm gonna go back to the Stingray. I wanna try the Stingray. Sub 202. That might have been a mistake. Okay, yeah, no, I can I can coast through the through those walls. I take damage, but I can go through them. I just I'd never tried that before, I guess. You'd think if they were gonna do that, they'd use like mines or something. It's probably worth it to do that just for the sake of making those turns less obscenely sharp. Uh, was that a bad boost? No, I'm good, I'm fine. So that seems like a boost spot. I could boost over that jump if I wanted to. There's not a, a there's not a ton of boost spots I get in this stage. In fact, I also have to save my health for the uh, going through the walls like that. So I might not be able to do two boosts per lap. Oh, I lose so much speed on that. Yeah, that's going to be an important boost spot. Getting my speed back from that monstrosity of turns. Uh, the title of the upcoming Castlevania racing game. Castlevania Monstrosity of Turns. You don't lose a lot of health considering you're going through a wall.
that's a big jump. <laughs> that's way bigger than any of the other jumps in this game. If you don't have the speed, that's a jump you're not going to make. I can't say that about the previous ones. Which this is... Is this White... This is White Land 2. So yeah, that makes sense. This is the end of one of the... End of one of the pre's. Oh, 206? I'm still a little ways off. Do I dare try the fox? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna compare. This isn't really a scientific test because I'm trying different vehicles as I'm also just getting better at each track. So, of course, the Stingray looks the worst if it's the first one that I try every time. Okay, the ice wasn't unbearable. However, if I boost there, I still have to lose all my speed anyway for these turns. So, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a boost spot. Slide, the drift rather, may be beneficial there, because I can get through those turns. Well, maybe not. If I get used to it on this track, I might be able to get through those turns in a uh, proficient manner. That turn's bad. I gotta figure out how to do that without... ...dying. Without crooning into the wall. I am letting go of the acceleration, which you have, you have to as the Golden Fox for a lot of turns in order to uh, regain your grip. Oh, too early. In fact, if you look closely, you can see the moment when I do it, and I regain my grip. Alright. So I have to play pretty conservatively for the first part of the track, and then I have like three boost spots at the end. I really gotta lose speed on that, though. I gotta slow way the fuck down. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have boosted that. <sighs> it's such a habit. I want to boost after a really sharp turn like that. distance for these down. And that was not just the distance. I'll give the fox a few more tries. It doesn't feel undoable, it just feels like I haven't gotten the feel of how to do it yet. The slip slide is annoying, but it is controllable. It is in within acceptable parameters. See? There we go. There we go. I just gotta I gotta do that consistently.
It's a tall order to do that for four laps in a row. I'm still not gaining significant ground on my other... Well, there I go, though. Never mind. I gained ground. Looks like I can get two or three boosts out of the Fox per lap on this track. I just gotta not, not get tricked on where to use them. Oh yeah, look how much I cut doing that. What is it, sub 202? I think I'm on track for that. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I hit a wall. I hit a bunch of walls. Man. Okay. Well, I'm getting there. 203. I can do it. I've cut two seconds off that. quite get a full boost from zero, so I'm trying not to, uh... There's a very pew-pew sound effect in this music track. Turn. I like that turn. I don't like these walls, though. Uh, I'm eating everyone. Uh, that might have ruined the run. Maybe it is worth it just to like go all the way to the bottom with Golden Fox. Because as long as you don't hit anything, you can't. You just keep getting boosts. Your max speed suffers, but you're the Golden Fox, so what do you care? You don't have max speed. It really suffers, though. Okay, maybe not. That was a bad idea. Cases like this at the very start of the race, at the start of the race, I always boost because uh, I'm going to go through the boost pad anyway and go back to full again, so I might as well start with the extra speed. Okay, so I need four laps without any really bad walls.
to get some more boost in. I might be able to manage three boosts per lap. Be great if I could. In fact, it might be necessary for this time. I'm never hitting brake. I basically, I don't use the brake, basically. Should probably not boost through the boost pad, though. Because maybe I could squeeze a little more boost out if I didn't do that. Enough distance to get a boost in here. I am going to lose some health on the walls, though. Is it final lap? Oh, I'm down at zero, though. That's not great, because we know... <coughs> okay, sub 202. We did it. Yeah, the infinite boost is not worth the, like, speed punishment you get for being at minimum health. It's tempting. Not worth, though. Alright, well, consistently, the Golden Fox seems to be the way to go for these, so I'll, I'll, I'll try it immediately. Especially because Deathwind has a lot of straightaways, it definitely seems like uh, the thing to do. I think this was sub-156. And this is the final time trial that we have that's new. It's strange that they, uh... Because there were eight tracks missing from the game. It's strange that they added five in this update. Because they're going to do three in the next one. As opposed to, uh, four and four. I gotta figure out the golden ratio of, uh, turning versus sliding. On this course. Deathwind is my bane. I don't like Deathwind tracks. Alright, now the wind's coming from the right. Oh. I don't get a lot of boost opportunities before that. I guess the straightaways, obviously, but... How much do I want to boost on the straightaways, is the question. I guess it's mostly just one straightaway, because this side of the course is all taken up by these turns. eating every wall. It's so unwieldy. The wind, not the not the fox. I mean, the fox is already kind of unwieldy, but adding the wind to it. I feel like this isn't going to be forgiving because this is a this is a final set track. This is a this is a King's Cup track. I feel like this is going to be one of those really hard times like Port Town was. I'm on the final lap. I think I'm going to be within 10 seconds at least. Then again, I'm now smoking, so 
What do I know? Uh, yeah, eat a wall. Eat every wall. Power down. Yeah, crash out in time trial. <sighs> I'll try Stingray. Golden Fox is still probably the best, but uh, I want to see if I can do it with a vehicle that I can control. Immediate boosts. See, now I gotta get used to this not sliding around anymore. Elf complains about the Stingray. He thinks this one's the hard to control one. Because it's the only one in the game that doesn't slide all over the place. I uh, probably don't want to be uh, smoking the whole lap. That was probably a mistake. But boy, look at all those walls I'm not hitting now. Boy, that is nice. I'm thinking two boosts per lap. I think I went overboard. I think I did three in the first lap. Was uh, not an optimal time to boost. I was right going right into a boost pad already. I think this one was one sub one fifty six. Missing all of these boost pads. Am I gonna do it? Really? Almost. If it is one sub-156, it might have been 152. Let me double check. Uh, 156. Okay, we were real close. Let me take that with Stingray again. I was less than a second away, and I made so many mistakes. This'll be easy, I say, jinxing myself. It's a nice telegraphed place. It's like the game is looking at me and saying, use your boosts here. This is the only straightaway you're getting. Use them if you got them. speed for it. Oh yeah, this is the run. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm not going to regret going this low on health. Alright, heal me. 
Yeah, heal up. It's just that easy. You don't know made the difference because I played the vehicle with lightning on it. That makes it go faster. Alright. Well, there's all our time trials. I got three courses remaining. Uh, let me make some predictions. We got Port Town 1 and 2 already. Whiteland 1 and 2. Red, so Red Canyon 2, obviously, is one of them. Mute City 2. I wonder if there's a 3. Is there a Mute City 3? It's gonna be Red Canyon 2, and then 2 that I don't know about. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it wasn't much of a prediction. It was kind of just deducing what was obvious. Uh... What else is left? I still have team battle stuff to do. I'm just gonna finish with a plain old FCF-099 race. That's what I'll do. We'll do one more race to finish the stream. A good old Stingray. Uh, nope, nope, no Deathwind. No Deathwind. Do not vote for Deathwind. Don't let the Golden Foxes win. Ah! How many Golden Foxes are there? It's, it's hard to tell because everyone's got different decals. But, uh, boy, I look forward to ranking out of this. That's not true. Now, I'll, I'll rank out of this on, uh, on Grand Prix, because there's only, like, 40 racers left at this point. 99, though. I'm good. I'm not gonna win this, but I'm not gonna rank out, at least. Ah, oh, I missed the boost. I always forget there's a boost on this track before the starting line. Ah, I'm getting spun everywhere. This is this is the baby park of the game. Because everyone's just in a straight line, it's just chaos. Everyone's just constantly spinning each other. Someone blew up. This is the boost I always get spun away from. And then if I try to go out of my way for it, I end up careening into a wall. You'd think because this is a straightaway, the max speed vehicle would be great for it. I get the impression. I don't know this for sure. It feels like the wind works against a low acceleration stat. Which is why I think I struggle on this level so much as the Stingray. I don't have any other explanation for it. Donkey Dong. Super Mario, number two. Daddy Zelda, good name. Alright. Seven tickets. Well, I did all I wanted to do today. That was the F-099 Queen League. Caught up with all the uh, all the tracks, all of the uh, new time trials and everything. 
I will do at least one more stream of this game. Probably not more than that, but uh, I'll do one more stream for the King League when that's out, whenever that might be. And we'll see the final, see, final three tracks. We'll see the final Grand Prix. And uh, probably the end of the F-099 streams. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for we're doing Death Road to Canada with me and Jack and Darian and Saucy. So, uh, see you then.